All right, we're gonna talk about uh, wall microwave open shelf cabinets. Before we do, I do wanna make a statement. The kitchen we're in is Jim Barton. You guys uh, may have dealt with Jim in your uh, coats or jobs. This is Jim. Um, yeah. He's done a log cabin redo here. You're not seeing the whole thing. It's pretty magnificent, but he chose a really nice beaded inset, uh, crystal white or frosty white with frosty a coffee glaze. Coffee glaze. So we get a lot of requests for this kind of color. There you're seeing it, frosty white coffee with a beaded inset, a nice TW10 door with a regular framing bead. So Jim's going to step off camera, but I just wanted to introduce you to him because some of you folks have talked on the phone or through email. Uh, he's kind of our right-hand man, one of our many right-hand men. So, all right, let's get started. Um, what we're talking about here is this wall microwave open shelf. Um, I won't say it's not a popular cabinet anymore, but a lot of folks are going with tall um, microwave oven stacks, and the microwaves, therefore, are built in, or they're putting them in base cabinets and built in. But every now and then, you have a situation where you want a countertop setting microwave, but you don't want it on the counter. That's where this cabinet comes in. It's a normal 12 and a half inch depth. You can order it deeper if you want, but it's a normal 12 and a half inch depth. And what it has is a shelf with kind of a rounded front edge. It's a plywood shelf with a banded front edge. You can't get it solid wood. So if you ask for the solid wood shelf upgrade, this is still going to come plywood. You can kind of see the veneers here. Uh, but it's going to come finished to match if you ask for the matching interior option, which we'll talk about in a minute. But that shelf just kind of sets in there and drops in place. You can screw it or pin it if you want to, but really the microwave sits in here and the weight of it should be enough to hold that shelf down. Um, I don't think you need to go through a whole lot to hold that shelf down, but it's going to come with this normal 6-inch protrusion, which is not a big deal if you're in the middle of a straight run like this. But one of the considerations you have to have is where are you going to put this microwave? We have seen some people who are putting this cabinet right up against, picture this being a diagonal 45 degree corner. And if you have a cabinet diagonally 45, the door on that is going to run into this door or you can't open it without it hitting here. So this cabinet has to be in a straight run. It can't be up against a uh, diagonal corner cabinet. So be aware you have the clearance necessary to clear this deeper shelf. Now I mentioned the matching interior. You notice the inside of this cabinet is the frosty white coffee glaze you're going to want to use the matching interior option when you order your cabinet because if you don't, the interior is going to come, pardon the stuff on the inside, but it's going to come blonde maple. It's going to come just a normal clear varnish on the inside um, and you don't want that. You're going to be seeing the majority of the inside of this cabinet as well as the shelf because your microwave is not filling the whole thing. So you're going to want to make sure that you have that matching interior specified. Now you may be asking, well, why, what if I want to do a built-in microwave? What if I don't want the shelf? That's not what this video or this cabinet's for, but basically Conestoga does have a cabinet that looks kind of like this, but the insert, this front frame is, is kind of uh, built in a little bit. There's no beading on it, and you would simply cut out the front frame to match your microwave specs, and those cabinets start at 18 deep and deeper because built-in microwaves are much deeper than a countertop setting microwave. So you need that extra depth to be able to build that cabinet or that uh, microwave into the cabinet. So we do have one uh, called a wall microwave built-in. WMB is the code. We do have one of those. It's trimmable. That's not this cabinet. Make sure you understand the kind of microwave you're going to be using before you buy your cabinet. Uh, if you buy the cabinet wrong and you haven't bought your microwave yet, you just committed yourself to which kind of microwave you have to use. So if you have any questions, you can always give our sales reps a call. Um, and I think I've pretty much covered all the, the issues with this cabinet, but it is, it is still in use every now and then today, and it's a nice handy cabinet to have.